The idea of being canceled has caused creators to not even want to express their true emotions, their true thoughts, their political ideologies, nothing, right? And this actually caused whole careers to be crushed and uh, crumble into thin ice, destroyed, justified or not. And even some big creators want to create whole PR teams just so they don't get canceled, right? The rules of being canceled does not submit to no mere mortal, all right? Anyone could get canceled, me, you, your mom. But there are some people who have had the serum, has the recipe of never being canceled no matter what they do. In this series I am going to create right now, I'm going to go over these creators who has found a blueprint of never getting canceled. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe. My name is Marshall, let's get into the video. So the first creator I'm going to talk about in this series is no other than Flight Reacts. Now, if you don't know who Flight Reacts is, he's somebody who got popular on YouTube by playing NBA Live in 2K. Now, after a while, he created a new channel and he actually did reactions. Is that probably where you've seen him a lot? You've probably seen viral memes or sound bites of his. Ah! does those reactions to this day now if you don't know about fight reacts in the past he was actually seen as a very very annoying and a lot of people hated him back in the day and it was really a mix of a lot of things he was actually really 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 bad at basketball and he was very arrogant even though he could never back it up he raged a lot and a lot of times he kind of came off as annoying and it was really easy to hate him. He was kind of the clown of the 2K community. Fast forwarding all the way to today, he's actually seen as a very well respected 2K or reaction YouTuber in the community. It's like he can do no wrong. And it's not because, you know, he's now older or he's get, gained some kind of lineage that makes, makes him more respected. No, no, no. It's just a slight shift in his content and his, let's say, personality that I think is the reason why people love him so much and why all the things he has done and all the things he says causes him to never get canceled. And we're gonna tell you why just in a second. So to really explain why the reason he doesn't get canceled, we have to go back to the reason people hated him. And one of the reasons was because he was really, 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 really bad at basketball, right? And when I say bad, I mean really bad. And he would talk the biggest game. He would swear he's the greatest basketball player of all time. And people would look at it, see that he sucks, and be like, wow, you're delusional, and you're really dumb, you're stupid, right? He would do 1v1s with people who are, let's just be honest, they, I don't even know if they graduated high school yet. And he would lose. He would swear he would do forfeits, and he would lie. He would promise things that he wouldn't deliver. Uh, and he made up a lot of drama just for content. And usually those things make you pretty unlikable in the community. So all that kind of culminated in him being the laughing stock in the community, someone you can't take seriously. And I think over time, he really, really understood that. And what he did was he played that exact character. He became that clown. If he's aware that people think he's, you know, this laughing stock, he can play to it and it actually gains the respect of those same people who are just laughing at him. There's whole compilations these days of Flight Reacts acting delusional, saying he's the greatest basketball player of all time, saying he's gonna be great in June, you know, saying that he could have done any basketball move he's seen in his sleep. And the thing is, people know he's lying. But the difference is now, since he's playing up a character, people are actually knowing that he's aware of what he's saying. There's be times where he say it and then he has to hide his shirt because he knows he's about to laugh. And what that causes is for people to not really take him seriously no matter what he says. And with that exact premise in mind, he's able to really do anything, lose any battle game, be as sucky as possible, and no one cares. In fact, it's a win-win in his case. When he loses, people laugh and watch. When he wins, people are shocked and they watch. As Illuminati says, he's a glitch in the matrix. 
right? He's a glitch in the matrix. When he loses, he wins, and when he wins, he wins. When he says something super crazy and it's just a blatant lie, people find it funny. And when he speaks facts, it makes it even bigger because people are so used to him being dumb that when he's actually being smart, it's a bigger deal. Recently, he just did a 1v1 with Kenny Chow, right? If you didn't know, Kenny Chow is an Asian uh, basketball YouTuber, you can say. And he just beat him. And Kenny's not that, that bad. And he just beat him in a 1v1. And people were shocked. People were, were, were jumping up in the sky. And if it was any other YouTuber who won a 1v1, no one would care. But his flight reacts. Two days later, three days later, he faces Geo Wise and he gets bounced out the building. He was buns. But people still watch and everyone still reacted because him losing plays up to what people want to see. They love when they see him lose because he talks so much stuff that when he loses, it's, it's, it's almost satisfying. It's almost satisfying to see how bad he is. And that means he can perform, he can do whatever he wants and no one will care. He, 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 found, he found a way to not get canceled. There's been times where he's actually even been exposed to, I wouldn't say scamming, but to lying to some creators. He used to steal lyrics for all his rap videos. No one cares. He, he put a verse in his rap that says he steals verses. And no one cares because it's flight reacts. No one, it's flight reacts. You, do you guys get what I'm saying? He found the glitch. It's flight reacts. Who's gonna care? He's, no one cares. He can go and trip a grandma. People are gonna be like, it's flight reacts. Did he get the dub? That's what I'm gonna, did he get the dub against the grandma? And there's a lot of creators out there that seem to be playing as a character, which kind of negates all their content. It's almost like a type of satire. Because if you take this seriously, now you're, you're the joke. And I'm not someone who hates Flight Reacts. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be at this stage where he's not canceled. I like him. I love Flight. I've been reacting or watching this dude for years. I find it very interesting that he has been able to create an atmosphere where he's able to not get canceled, you know? And there's some people who, if they tried going out, if they lost a one one in basketball or said something dumb, done. Clips of it for the next three weeks. But what he's able to do is negate that and people will actually like when he does it. And that's why he's uncancelable. Anyway, again, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. We're doing this every day again, or every other day, or once a week or something, right? I'm back, okay? Anyway, it's been Marshall. I'll see you guys next time.